Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Natalie the Dawn. I remain your host, Shadow Fury 3 and this last match today is going to be between Ikens and Sortail on Ravaged. So without further ado, let's get to it. Sortail going for the Cloakie Bot Factory and Ikens. What are you doing, Ikens? Ikens going for the Metal Extractor. Not sure why they're going for Metal Extractors first. They do have a factory for free. For those of you who haven't played Zero K much, you get factors for free. Your first factory is free. I know it says 600, there's a bit of a UI discrepancy, but yeah, when you have the little flashing factory icon on top of your commander, you get a free factory. Anyway, both players going for Cloakie Bot Factory, Swordtail going for a bit of a mix between Glaives and... Oh, talking about some UI changes. Going between Glaives and Warriors, while Icons, on the other hand, going for just a decorative factory. They like they like the look of it, they like it in their in that base, probably think it makes them look threatening, but not actually building any units at all, going entirely for economy, not at all worried about being attacked. Or they forgot how this stuff worked. Oh, I see, they're still getting used to the UI. I didn't realize that they were not quite used to the UI changes. Wait, so I... yeah. I mean, yeah, it used to be space plus letter, but now it's just letter. That's... that... you just... you just tap the letter. Yeah, by default nowadays, you just, you get that thing that I always have where you get, you just tap the letters and it works. As long as you're in the units tab. At any rate, that's beside the point. Point is, Ikins doesn't have a huge amount of units because apparently they didn't quite know how building units worked. Well, that's kind of embarrassing. I guess they didn't realize there's a units and orders tab that's separate now. I mean, that's, that's always been the case. The difference is that they're now just two tabs. Oops. I just tap between them with N. I really like it personally, but then, of course, I was always complaining that by default you had to hit space to build units in the first place, which I thought was silly. What? Game is silent. Oh. Hang on, sorry. Apparently the game audio isn't working for some reason. That's strange. Okay, my apologies. I don't know why the game audio isn't working. Huh. Okay, that's weird. My apologies, I don't know what was going on there. It's... Okay, well, whatever. We'll switch to the actual audio for the time being and then deal with stuff later. So yeah, the... The point is that Ikens now finally has the units up, but this is a bit embarrassing. I was hoping it wouldn't... Like, I thought, oh, Icons and Sortail. I mean, Icons, I've seen, especially Evolution RTS, they know how to play. Like, they aren't bad players, that's the thing. They, both Icons and Sortail are competent. I guess Icons hasn't played 0K specifically in a while, and yeah, there have been a lot of interface changes in the last three months. Basically normalizing for the Steam release, which seems to... Like, the momentum for the Steam release has massively increased in the last couple months, and part of that is this massive UI change. Also, there's a big skin change that's happening as well, which I would like to show you, but has to be properly implemented. I can't just throw it in. Once that gets properly implemented in the main version, that's going to be so nice to look at. If any of you are looking at Chobby, it's like, that's the skin. At any rate, Icons apparently having a bit of an army now. Having an economic advantage, at least. Like, they do have the economy to build up. They don't have the production at the moment. But Swordtail apparently didn't quite go all out because they realized, oh, Icons needs to take a couple seconds to actually get back into the game. But I think Icons at this point has figured things out again. They do need to get a Caretaker up or at least another Conjurer just building up in the main base because they are accessing. That is a problem that needs to be solved. Get another Conjurer. I mean, that's a thing. Swordtail, on the other hand, has the Caretaker, so they're fine. They'll be fine for a little while. I mean, they can get a couple more Metal Extractors and then they have to worry about it. But... No, Icons. Icons has to worry about it right now. That's a thing. At any rate, managing to spend some of the money on metal extractors right now, they do need to get more power plants too. A few more wind generators should be fine. Not a big deal. They just. That's the thing. They only have one conjurer. I don't know why they're doing that. I mean. Okay, now they have two. There we go. That's what they need. Yeah, I don't know why they only have one conjurer. I find that very bizarre. I mean, the thing is that the in Evolution RTS, you generally don't have a huge... I don't know how much I even play Evolution RTS, actually. They're one of the more common players of that game. I'm trying to remember how many workers you usually have in that game. 
I mean, the commander has much more range when it constructs things, so you don't usually need as many workers in that game. That might be why. Whereas the commander in 0k, compared to the size of the map, has hardly any build space. Like, that's... I mean, this is not... No, this is support commander. This is the longest build range, and it's like five unit lengths. Evolution RTS, you could have a commander in the center of this plateau, and they'd be able to build out to about this metal extractor from the center of the plateau without moving. Or something like that. But then again, everything's scaled up in that game. So I think that's what Icons is thinking of. Also, not building energy, which we are aware is a thing, because anyone who's seen Icons play knows that they have a widget specifically designed to tell them, build energy, which apparently is disabled. Because <coughs> normally we'd see build E in the chat box. But no, Icons apparently either turned that off or just forgot to have it, or maybe something happened because the defaults changed. At any rate, they do have the energy building up so far, so at least they got something, but yeah. Build energy! That's a thing Icons always has to, has to tell themselves. Anyway, Icons has a bit of a bit of a job to tackle here. Quite the army coming in here. Why aren't these grouping? Anyway, quite the army to tackle here with all the all the stuff coming in from Swordtail. All the units coming in, which actually, the Glaive's no problem. The Zeus's will be the major-ish issue. I mean, there are enough... Nah, that's fine. There is enough rockets to deal with everything coming in from Swordtail. It was a little bit intimidating, but I think Icons... Icons had the better position. Swordtail did have the Glaives, but the Warriors took care of them. Didn't have a lot of rockets of their own, so the Warriors from Icons weren't particularly threatened. But at the same time, Sortail is expanding quite a bit. Sortail does have the economic advantage, definitely has the production advantage. They don't have another caretaker in their main base, but they do have enough being built up. They aren't accessing metal at this point. Icons, on the other hand, is. They actually are getting a caretaker up to finally stop accessing metal. But then their commander's going to go down, and all that excess metal, all that metal stored, is going to go down with them. Right about now. Or not quite. There it goes. So Icon is losing all that metal, as well as the metal income that it provided. They're no longer accessing, at least. They actually are dealing with that, but yeah, at this point, Icon's not in the best spot. So at any rate, Icon should probably build a storage up pretty soon, but for the time being, they are managing to produce a fair amount. Managing to get in a fair bit of damage to Swordtail as well. So Swordtail should be... Should actually be fairly, fairly disturbed by this, I would think. I mean, with all the units coming in here, these Rockos could easily get rid of Sortail's commander. Sortail's commander isn't a big deal, but Sortail actually is accessing. They do need to get another caretaker in their main base or two. And with the commander going down, the basically the same thing that happened to Icons will happen to them. They'll lose all the stored metal. Though at this point, it's not as big of a deal. Icons has a much weaker economy compared to Sortail, especially since Icons lost their metal extractors over to the northwest when they lost their commander. But Icons doesn't have much of an economy. Actually, Swordtail losing their economy as well, but Swordtail has built up... Actually, where have they built up? They haven't built up much. No, a lot of that's the commander. If the commander goes down, that's a big blow, but Swordtail's managed to protect their commander well enough, so it should not be a problem. However, Icons with some... With fairly intelligent rating coming in here. Need to get out of there. Ooh, nice baiting. Nice. Getting rid of a couple glaives for free, so Icons just needs to... I guess just need to hold the line here. If they can get rid of the commander, great. They need to be rebuilding, though. That's desperately what they need to do right now. Get one of these conjurers, get another conjurer, get over here, rebuild all of these metal extractors. Every single one of them. Just build a lot of them. Because that's what they need. Or reclaim both. Actually, they're doing both. Good. That's what they need to do. Reclaim their commander, get those metal extractors, they can get back into this game. I mean, Icons has the military advantage, it's just that Swordtail's going to be able to break that basically right now. And if Icons doesn't get the economy to bring it back, the game's going to be over. Because Icons does not have the economy. Swordtail does, or at least did. Icons does not. At the same time, Icons coming in with their harassment around the backside to stop things, so at least there is going to be. I think the auto skirm. Icons is pointing out the auto skirm behavior. Auto skirm, I believe, was changed so that. Now it still works properly on fight. Like, when you're using fight orders, skirmishers still will work properly. I think it's that they don't have... 
the same movement behavior by default, though. But it looks like these rockers are on hold position anyway, so I don't know. I think if they're placed, they're on hold position, and if they're in fight, then they will move around and will retreat. But yeah, you gotta use fight orders a lot more often in the current interface, by default. At any rate, Icons, oof, if they can... If they can just get the economic advantage. They did manage to... I mean, they managed to get it by killing Sortail. And with these raiding parties going around the side, being remarkably effective, actually, this could... Okay, yeah, these rockers are dead. The glaives are going to get rid of them. So Icons should be able to take everything out from this point on. Pretty much broken the entire eastern side. This one contingent from Sortail, that's the only thing left, and Sortail doesn't even see that working out. So Icons takes the game bit of a turnaround there. I wasn't sure if Icons was going to take that, but they did manage eventually once they figured out how unit construction worked in the current interface. How things were supposed to work. So, well done to Icons. Bit of a rough start, but still an interesting match as it, as it went on and as things normalized. Good recovery off the commander, too. It looks like they did rebuild storage afterwards. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, they recovered pretty well for losing their commander. And they managed to get through, break some of Sortail's economy. They get around the back Tear that to shreds. Hold Sortail's army at bay. Yeah, the, the Rocco warrior combination worked fairly well. Sortail's combination seemed a little bit more haphazard, but not as effective. So that that was a very effective composition from Icons. And with that, I'm going to bid you all farewell. I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. So thank you all for watching, and have a good night, everyone.